Um, as part of the part one trial, uh, we also looked at the um, detection methods of the H16V kit mutation because it is uh, of critical importance in enrolling patients. And um, we compared a double a digital uh, droplet PCR using an allele specific PCR uh, methodology in a central laboratory uh, to next gen sequencing data and uh, found that uh, if uh, we use the highly sensitive digital droplet PCR, the limit of detection is as low as 0.02%. Uh, in other words, if you have an allelic frequency of 0.02%, it is detectable by this methodology. And 95% of our patients enrolled in the part one pioneer uh, trial had the mutation detectable. When these patients were analyzed locally uh, by their uh, referring uh, centers, uh, the detection rate was only 80%. So that goes on to show the importance of using a very uh, mutation assay. On the other hand, if you look at the next gen sequencing data, the lower limit of detection was about 1%. So that 1% compared to 0.02%, uh, the uh, uh, allele-specific digital droplet PCR is uh, clearly the way to detect this mutation.